Hello, welcome to the Maya Tool Belt. This is Michael. Today we're going to be looking at the Mesh Display menu and looking at the Reverse command. Reverse. This is referring to normals. You can see here we have this normals category of commands. We've already talked about conform and harden and soften edges, lock and unlock normals. We've done these things here already on the channel. I'm sure as of this recording, we haven't got done the rest of them, but as you go further into the future, maybe you'll find more. But for the reverse command, it's relatively simple. It's reversing the normals direction. Now we've talked about normals before, but just for a quick overview, I'll grab a cube real quick, make it real big, hide the grid. So what a normal is, is the surface direction of faces and vertices. If I go to display polygons, and I'll break this off. So display polygons, and I can look at face normals. If I click on this, these little green lines appear. If they're too small, you go to normal size, and you can increase the scale of these. And again, my background with that gradient might make it hard to see as well, so I can Alt-B to change to a black background so you can see it a little bit better. So these little green lines coming off the faces are showing you the surface direction or the normal direction of those faces. There's also vertex normals. If I display those, it'll display the vertex uh, direction as well. So these directions indicate how the surface is displayed. For a cube like this, you can see we have this particular look to our normal directions. If I click off of it, the lines go away, but you can still see them when I come click back on it. If I make a sphere, do the same thing. Face normals and vertex normals. Again, my normal size is low. There we go. So these are my vertex normals, and then we have face normals. So they all kind of look similar, so I'm going to do one at a time. So the vertex normals, you can see there, they're all coming off of the points or the vertices. And then the face normals are all coming out of the middle of the face. Now, this particular sphere is nice and smooth. If I were to go to Mesh Display Harden Edge, and then turn off face normals and turn on vertex normals, you can see there we're getting this kind of spiny pattern, similar to the cube, and how it's kind of coming off from different directions. So these vertex normals especially, but face normals as well, all kind of attribute to the look of how faceted or hard-edged a surface is. That's essentially what normals are referring to. But now let's look at our command, which is under Mesh Display. Again, it's simply Reverse. It's a relatively straightforward command. Again, with my handy-dandy cube as an example, if I were to click on the cube and simply reverse. The cube turns black, indicating that the normals have been reversed. So what I'm actually looking at is the back side of the faces. The faces are all facing inward toward the center of the box. If I zoom my camera in, you can see here now that inside the box, it does not look all black. It looks like you'd expect that kind of gray surface color that is the default surface in a Maya scene. So simply, that reverse command just reverses the face normals. And that's essentially the end of that, uh, <laughs> that command. There are some options, though. We can look at the settings here. If you're interested, you feel free to stick around. There's also another setting we can look at, too, which is under shading for your camera. Shading, back face culling. So that's going to cull or remove the back side of faces. And so now I can see inside of the box. See that? So this can be very handy if you're ever working in an environment with like enclosed spaces or rooms with walls and ceilings and such. But, you know, it's kind of hard to work with because you're outside of the space. You can use this back face culling command to look through the back side of those faces. It'll cull those away. And now you can see inside the room itself, which is very useful. I use it all the time. So I'll keep this on for now just so it's a little bit easier to see what's happening kind of see the difference. If I were to click this and then say reverse again, okay, now we're seeing the outside of the cube. Click on it and click reverse again. Now I'm seeing the inside of the cube, okay? So pretty, pretty simple. So here in our reverse normals options, we have a couple of settings we can choose from. So reverse normals on default is selected faces. So you can reverse a single face, for example. 
here we have the topmost face is facing outward while the rest of them are facing inward. You can kind of see the difference as I rotate the camera around. Okay, so that's the selected faces. So again, that's something also to keep in mind. You don't have to do it for the entire object. I'm gonna undo that actually just to keep them all nice and uh, informed together. So, select the faces. We then have the option of selected faces and then extract. And then we have all faces in the shell. Okay. Then we have user normals. We can either pre preserve user normals direction or reverse user normals. So first of all, let's go back up here to the reverse normals on setting. And again, default is selected faces. So that whatever is selected, whether it be the whole object or individual faces, they simply get reversed. Now if we want to, we could say selected faces and then extract. So extract is another whole command. If I go over here to mesh menu, sorry not mesh, edit mesh, we have the extract command down here. And I believe I have a video going over the extract command, but feel free to check it out. But extract essentially, as you can see from the little thumbnail there, the little icon, it, it will separate the face from the object. Okay, so what that essentially means, if I select say, let's do all these faces, I have selected faces and then extract, so I'll click reverse, the face has become separate from the rest of it. Let me undo that again. So now if I double, double click a face, it has the whole thing selected. So I'm going to grab, let's just do the top face just to make the thing simple. So again, selected faces, then extract, reverse. Ah, see that? It's a separate face now. I reversed the normals and now I can move that face separately. It's not separated from the object, you'll notice. It's still on, it's still is assumed to be attached to or part of this object. Just those faces have been separated from the others and now can be maneuvered individually with face component mode. All right, let me undo that. So then we have all faces in the shell. Now what this is referring to is this entire object is essentially a shell. The enclosed face, or faces of all this uh, cube. So you notice we had previously the option to extract, right? So if I were to select this face up here and say selected faces, reverse them, and extract them, and apply. It reverses the face, okay? And it becomes separated from the rest. So now that object is its own separate shell. This is a shell, and then all of these are a shell. So when we say all faces in the shell, what we're referring to is where all the faces are congruent and connected together, it will reverse all of them, even if you only have one of them selected. So for example, if I grab this face, and I'm gonna say all faces in the shell, okay, and then reverse, it only reverses itself. But if I grab this face down here, and say all faces in the shell, and apply, it reverses all of those faces except the top one. So that's what it's referring to when it means the shell. It's a little confusing because shell is also a term used in texturing, well, UV shells, but in this particular case, it's referring to the geometry shell itself, the object and all the congruent faces. So reverse normals on the selected faces only, or you could do the selected faces and then extract them into their own separate shell. Or you could just say, make sure all the faces in the shell, regardless of which face I choose, all get reversed. So then we have user normals. What are user normals? So in the mesh display menu I have here, we do have some options for, you know, defining some normals of ourselves. So we have vertex normal edit tool, for example, and we could say set vertex normal, that kind of thing. So you're defining them yourself as a user, okay? So essentially what this means is you're either gonna preserve the user normals direction. So that means that this command will have no effect. If you've already set the normals the way you want them to be, this will not apply to them. Or yes, also reverse the user normals. So that means it'll ignore that whatever you've done as far as your user set normals and will reverse them too. So by default, go to edit reset settings. The default is it'll reverse them also. So if you ever have some normals that you've set yourself and you don't want them reversed, but you do want to reverse other things, other uh, normals on the object, you can preserve your user normal directions. So that's what essentially what that means. All right, and that's all the uh, settings for the reverse 
normals command. I will say that I would 99.9% .9 of the time, what I'm using it for is for reversing faces or objects completely. I don't need to worry about, you know, whole shells or anything like that. I'm usually reversing all of it. Uh, and if you do have a situation where different faces on a same object are different from each other, then you have, say, for example, the conform command, which we have a video going over, also going out today as of this recording, that will conform all the normals to be all pointing in a consistent direction. So that would be my go-to for that as well. But in any case, if you have any uh, questions or thoughts regarding reverse normals or conform or anything else, really, feel free to comment below. And uh, if you have any questions or any suggestions for future videos, I'd be happy to hear those as well. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.